Hi everyone and welcome back to another spectacular Planet Fitness workout with me, Planet Fitness trainer Adrian. As always, I am super excited to have you all joining me. And we at Planet Fitness believe that your fitness is essential. That's why we're here to help you discover how great it is for us all to stay active, whether at home or in the club. Now, if you're coming into one of our clubs, be sure you check the crowd meter on your Planet Fitness app so that you have an idea of how many people are already there. Also, please keep in mind that your Planet Fitness staff is working extremely hard to keep this place squeaky clean for you so that you can feel great about your workout. And there are things that you can do to help. For example, please stay the appropriate distance away from other members of the club. Also, please wipe down your machinery before you use it and after you use it. Now we're about to get started with our core workout here in our lovely 30 minute circuit area where you can get a full body workout in, in you guessed it, just 30 minutes. I'm gonna use this area a little bit differently today for our workout, but when you're in the club, make sure you follow each station in order so that you can get that really great full body workout. If you're just beginning or if you're just getting back into the swing of things, don't worry, I've got modifications for nearly every exercise and you can always feel welcome to take a break anytime you need to. With that being said, let's get started with a warm up. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna do some trunk rotation. So bring those arms up and you're just gonna rotate your trunk to the left and then to the right. Keep going. Try and keep those hips still. Your aim is to rotate this part of your body right in here. You are halfway there. Keep it going. Looking good. And we're done with that. Now let's get into some side reaches. So just reach from one side to the other. I want you to feel a really good stretch all through your rib cage, all through your side. Keep it going. Fantastic. Reach. Beautiful, guys. Keep it going. Really warm up that core because we're going to put it to work today. And we are done with those. Next, we're going to do some fences. So drive your left knee up and out like you're stepping over a fence. You're going to warm up those lower abdominals. Take big giant steps. Drive the knee up, take it out and down. Great job, y'all. You are halfway there. Good job. Keep it up. All right, fantastic. Now let's get to our first exercise. Hope you've got a mat because we're going to get down on the floor for some crunches. I want you to place your hands behind your head with your fingertips touching. Not interlock, but touching. And then roll back, bring your knees up. Keep your chin pointed towards the ceiling and then bring your shoulders off the ground. Now, as I said, there are modifications for everything, even a crunch. So if you're brand new and you can't keep your knees up, feel free to place your feet on the floor. But keep that chin out of your chest. You want it pointed straight up. Be sure that when you're lifting up towards the ceiling, you're breathing out. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, keep it nice and slow and even. Exhale, inhale. Great job, keep it going y'all. I know it's tough. If you can feel those abs burning, go ahead and drop a fire emoji for me. I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot of those. <laughs> Probably a lot more fire emojis and smiley faces. But we're done. Great job, guys. Now we're going to go into something called a hug break. So place your hands behind your knees. Bring your knees into your chest. 
and you're gonna rock side to side just a little nice and slow it's really gonna stretch out your lower back you are halfway through your moment of relaxation <laughs> and then we're gonna get into some side crunches all right knees back up guys place your right hand behind your head place your left hand on the floor or on the mat and you're gonna take it up Try and get your shoulder, not your elbow, but your shoulder to your knee. Now, the modification for this one, once again, one foot on the floor, your right foot's on the floor, your left ankle is across your knee. Keep that chin out of your chest. You want to always try and keep that chin pointed up, your elbow back. You want to bring that shoulder, not the elbow, towards your knee. Keep it going. Be ready to drop those fire emojis if this is burning. But also drop smiley face emojis if it's burning and you love it. You're going to love the results, I know that. You're going to get a nice, strong set of abs. We are almost there. Woo, good job, y'all. Go back into that hug break. Don't cross your ankles, keep them uncrossed. You can even wiggle your toes if you want. The rock back and forth. If you are unable to get your knees into your chest, grab a towel, wrap it around your the backs of your knees and rock that way. You guys are ready to do the left side? I know your right side's burning. Knees back up, y'all. Okay. Right hand goes down on the floor of the mat. Left hand goes behind your head. Keep that chin up. Drive that left shoulder towards your right knee. Keep the elbow back. Nice and slow and controlled. Why? Because it works better. <laughs> If you do something with good form, you can do less of those things if it's in good form and it's slower. And it'll have the same effect. Once again, if you want to modify, this time you will bring your right ankle up and place it on top of your left knee. And you'll work to bring that right left shoulder towards your right knee. We are halfway there. Keep it going. You ready to drop those fire emojis? When that right oblique starts burning? <laughs> Keep it going. And we're done. Bring those knees back into your chest. Rock side to side in a hug break. This has become my favorite part of any core workout. <laughs> Gotta love a hug break. Gotta keep that lower back nice and limber. Most of the back problems people have are lower lumbar back problems. You really wanna stay nice and limber. Enjoy this moment, breathe in deeply. All right, now we're going to work on those lower abs with single leg drops. So both feet straight in the air. Take your right foot and very slowly, almost on a slow eight count, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to be about an inch from the floor and then bring it back up. Hard part is keeping that lower back on the floor. Nice and slow. Now the left foot comes down. If you are looking to modify this exercise, take it back up. You are going to start out with both feet on the floor. You're going to bring your right foot up in the air, take it down. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, take it up, same slow eight count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you'll bring it down and switch feet. Same thing on the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inch from the floor and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Fantastic. Let's go back into that hug break. Rock and roll. Great job, guys. I love that you're still hanging in there with me. If those abs are burning once again, drop that fire emoji. We're getting you nice and strong. We're halfway through our period of relaxation here. And then we're going to hop up and do some ballet lifts. So you're going to drive that left knee up, take it 45 degrees out, point that toe down, bring it up, down, up, down, and then bring it back in. Right side, right knee up, 45 out, point it down, bring it up, point it down, bring it up, point it down, bring it up, point it down, and bring it in. Left knee up. Out 45 degrees and point and up. Point, you're halfway there. Point and up and down and bring it back. Right knee up, 45 out. Point it down, bring it up. Point it down, bring it up. Point it down, bring it up. Point it down and bring it back in. Left knee up. Yeah, there really isn't a modification for this one. It's just hard. <laughs> but it worked. And bring it back in. Fantastic job, guys. Go ahead and take this moment to hydrate. Water is very, very important. What we just did, the ballet lift, they were to help with your core stability training. Now, what people don't know is that the muscles in your core help you to actually stand. So every time you take a step, your core stability muscles help to keep you balanced before you put your foot back down. So it's very, very important, especially since as we age, older people tend to be, become afraid of falling because they lack that core stability training, that we continue to train the core stability muscles. Now let's get down for a plank. Remember, if you can't get into a full plank, you wanna get down here on your knees, get those heels in the air, but keep your booty down like this. Not like this, but like this. You wanna be as straight as a board. So none of that. <laughs> Give me this. <laughs> and you're just gonna hold it. You want something a little harder? You're up like this. Remember, not here, not there. We'll get to that. <laughs> but here, just hold it. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Get into your happy place, exhale, in through the nose, out through the mouth, happy place activated. <laughs> I find that with, with um, planks, the more you distract yourself, the better, <laughs> the easier it is to hold a plank. Fantastic. So you're going to just come down onto your stomach, place your hands beneath your shoulders, and bend upward into a baby cobra. She's really stretching and, and limbering up that lower back. Deep breath in. And exhale. Again, deep breath in, and exhale, and deep breath in, and exhale. Come on down to the floor again. You're going to place your arms in front of you in a Y with your thumbs pointed up, feet are on the ground, then you're just going to lift your arms off the ground and come back down. Keep it going. 
Lift up. We're strengthening that lower back. Lift up and bring it down. Breathe in. Exhale up. Inhale down. 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 We're over halfway there. Keep it going. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. And inhale down. Great job, everybody. Place your hands on either side of your rib cage, and you're gonna come up to full cobra. It's also used as a test of hip flexibility. Fun fact. <laughs> Take a deep breath in, and exhale. Try to use this as a moment to relax. Deep breath in. And exhale. And come down. This time, we're going to move our arms out into a T. And we're going to do the same thing we did with the Y lift. We're just going to lift up and come down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Good job. Inhale down. I know this is tough. Exhale up. But it's very important to keep your back nice and strong. Just like it's important to keep your abs nice and strong. You want to keep both of them equally as strong so that one isn't pulling on the other. If your abs aren't strong, it's gonna pull on your back and cause back pain. You don't want that. You don't want your abs to be strong but your back to be weak either for obvious reasons. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Fantastic, y'all. Place your hands back next to your ribs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale up into full cobra. You're gonna hold it here. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, nice and slow. Deep inhale, really fill your body with air. And exhale through your mouth. Beautiful. Again, deep breath in. And exhale. Come on down. This time we're going to do Superman lifts. So bring those arms out in front of you and you're going to lift your arms and your feet at the same time. Ready? Take a deep breath in. Exhale up. And bring it down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Bring it down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Good job. Exhale up. We're halfway there, guys. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Beautiful. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. And inhale down. Beautiful, beautiful job. Place those hands back next to your ribs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale up into full cobra. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful job, guys. Deep breath in, 
And exhale through the mouth. One more deep breath in. And exhale. Beautiful. Come up to your hands and knees. We're going to go into a plank. We're going to go from plank to downward dog. Now, if you want to modify this exercise, here's how it's going to look. This is your plank. This is your downward dog. Don't let those feet go down. Keep them up. You're just going to keep doing this over and over again. Really press those heels as far back as you can into the floor. If this is your plank and this is your downward dog. Once again, if you're here, the object is to get your head down to the floor, reaching forward, but keeping those heels, those feet off the ground. Great job, everybody. You guys are tough hanging in there with me like this. I love it. All right, everybody, come down to your hands and knees. Widen out your knees. Bring your heels together and sit back as far as you can on those heels, reaching forward with your hands, but your elbows are off the mat. Do not put your elbows down on the mat and your head should be down. This is called Modified Child's Pose. You should feel that stretch all through your back. And remember to continue breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. Fantastic, guys. Now we're going to get into some side planks. So once you're laying on your side, Line your heels up with your shoulders. If you're modifying this exercise, hold your, your bottom leg under, and you're gonna come up this way. The top foot is gonna be used to anchor you. If you're not modifying, keep those feet stacked and bring it up. You're just gonna hold it. Keep holding. Keep that side lifted, keep those hips lifted. We are halfway there. Great job, keep it up, you're so strong. Keep balancing. Beautiful. Excellent. So, other side. Can you switch sides for me? We're going to do the exact same thing. Like I said, you're modifying it. You're going to fold that bottom leg down. And you're going to take it up and hold it. If you're not modifying, we're just going to keep those feet stacked. And you're gonna take it up. Come on, bring it up. Keep those hips lifted. Great job. This is a tough one, I know it is. You can do it. If you need to take it down and modify, by all means, do that. We are halfway there, guys. Great job. Keep it there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Challenge yourself. Three, two, one, and bring it down. Excellent. So we're going to get back in the modified child pose. Knees wide, heels together, sit back, reach forward, elbows off the ground, head down.
Deep breath in through your nose. And exhale. All right, we're gonna do some airplanes. If you're not into doing a full plank, get down on those knees, heels up, pick it up, bring it down, to another side up, and bring it down. Keep it going. If you're not modifying, I want you here. The object is to move your lower half as little as possible. You want everything coming from your trunk. Be prepared to drop those fire emojis. And some muscle emojis. Let me know how proud you are of yourself for being so strong. We're halfway there. You should be patting yourselves on the back, figuratively, because you've still got work to do. <laughs> but you made it this far, and that's awesome. Core workouts are not easy, but they're good. Get back on those hands and knees, widen those knees out. Get back on those heels, reach forward. I am so proud of all of you for getting through this core workout. Great job. Really enjoy this stretch. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And you are done, done, done. Excellent job, everyone. Way to hang in there with me. I hope you enjoyed your core workout. We at Planet Fitness are always here to help you keep moving in fun new ways. Remember, we are all in this together. And we'll be on Facebook at 7 p.m. Monday through Friday with more workouts to help keep you motivated. You can also download our app for even more workouts. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you soon.